Hi, it's Wednesday, September 16th, and I'm Mark Friedman, just an American citizen, just an American citizen. That's all I am. I got opinions, but I'm just that. And as always, happy as happy to be an American citizen. There is no greater country. A lot of our problems we're going to be facing, we're going to be becoming more and more and more, and we're just going to deal with them, and we're going to beat them. We normally do, and that's what we're going to do. Just got to face them and keep going. Please make sure to to uh, subscribe, and no notes, no sense, and today we're going to talk about how President Trump, instead of downplaying the coronavirus, he upplayed it. You ever upplayed anything? I haven't upplayed anything, but yesterday, Donald Trump was at ABC, uh, you know, where some people can ask questions, um, not Fox, but where they can ask people, regular Americans can ask questions, and his answers he was lost. I mean, you listen to this guy. They said to him, one woman asked, hey, you said that you downplayed it. Why did you downplay it? Why didn't you just tell us the truth? Well, I didn't downplay it. I upplayed it with action. And if she tried to follow up, he just ran over her because there's no way he can give an answer. He downplayed it. He said he downplayed it. He knew from fe early February that this coronavirus was a killer. So instead of telling everybody and just getting people to wear masks and social distance and do certain things that we had to do, he just downplayed it. But he upplayed it because he also said, you know, he stopped people from China. Of course, 40,000 people came in afterwards, didn't stop people coming out of Europe, came in out of... Um, uh, through New York, and he sits there and he says, well, the governors, you listen to him, the governors and everybody else said the same thing I did. Well, they were listening to you. You are the president. You accept no responsibility? Fine. People know better. But hey, I understand the sun rises in the West, Mr. President. You're correct. You did a, uh, you, you did a, a beautiful job keeping us calm. You kept us you know, downplayed, you kept us upplayed, just like Pearl Harbor. So at the end of this, please listen to my FDR Trump version of the Pearl Harbor attack speech so you can hear really what the difference is between what this guy Trump would say and what everybody else would. But listen to this guy. This is going to be an interesting debate in less than two weeks. This guy is out of it. Hey, let's stay calm as we're giving everybody a little up.